Hey there, Phoebe Fazio here from phoebefazio.com, and, <laughs> and I'm Dr. Kara Gubbins of the Animal Wisdom Circle.com and drkaragubbins.com. <laughs> we are here to have some fun. <laughs> really? Fun with animal wisdom and fun with sound washing, uh, channeled sounds, and it is so much fun to put them together, <laughs> to have the sounds enhancing the animal wisdom and the animal wisdoms really guiding the sounds, bringing in the messages for you. So we're gonna start by drawing a card. Okay, so I've got the animal wisdom oracle cards right here. And I'm gonna um, just shuffle a little bit more. Uh, I think this is the one. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Leopard. Leopard, it's funny because I was shuffling earlier and I was like, leopard? I don't even remember talking to a leopard. Because um, all of these cards came from my, con my intuitive conversations with each of the animals. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of, okay, okay. So let me just kind of um, check back into that energy. So the, I'll just hold it up here so you can see it. So the spiritual gift of the leopard is independence. And when you think about a leopard, they tend to be solitary. They hunt on their own. They're very, very self-sufficient. And so um, now it's now the conversation's coming back to me. It's kind of funny. So that that is a gift, right? Like there may be times when that's not great or whatever, but um, that's kind of unique. Not every animal species has that. So that independence is the spiritual gift the the spiritual lesson is also oftentimes it's the flip side of the gift it's like what's the other side of the coin and here the challenge or the spiritual lesson for the leopard is flexibility so how do i you know have my world and yet adapt to new things how do i not get stuck in um, if this was a person, my way or the highway, you know, that really tough independence. So that bringing in flexibility is the challenge when you feel like you do it all yourself and you're doing it right, you know, <laughs> like the way I do it is the way it should be done. So that's the challenge. And then when we look at the message, the message of interdependence, that's like the marriage of that gift and that lesson. So really how do i go forward into the world being myself and being clear on who i am but also know that i don't have to do everything alone and i have that flexibility to work with other people to be in relationship with other people other people other leopards whatever but um but how do i find that balance between independence and being flexible and in relationship and so that is interdependence Mm. So that's also something to aspire to, that ability to be yourself and be in relationship. So it's not a codependent, it's not a, you know, dysfunctional, but it, it's coming from a position of strength. Okay, so that's, that's the leopard. That's beautiful. Wow. So as I tune into the energies of the leopard, um, and that's, that's how I channel the sound, as I tune into whatever the topic or the person is that's receiving these messages. So these are for you, whoever's listening, whoever's watching this, um, at whatever level you receive it. And I'm really guided to a bowl that's off screen um, she's uh, she's Esther. She's an e-bowl, which is associated with your solar plexus. So to me, that is the epitome of independence, you know, having that personal power of that solar plexus. And I'm also guided to play a, a bowl that's on the other side, one of them into view at least, which is um, for the adrenals, that's, that's Dee Dee, my D sharp hole, and the adrenals are in the back. So the back side is for receiving, for one, 
And also this is going to support any challenge that you have physically. You know, when we try to do everything ourselves, we're independent, we're trying to do everything ourselves, that's when we drain our, our adrenals. We just can't do it all. So, and just a heads up, I don't usually talk this much, but I just want to get into the sound, but something needs needed to be said for some reason. These two bowls together have such a tight um, dissonance as opposed to harmony, and you will feel things breaking up and, and being removed and pulled, and we'll just see where it takes us from there. And I'll be adding my voice and some other fun sounds. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna hold the card up. Yeah, so Kara's gonna show the card. So you can tune into that, or you can close your eyes and just allow the sounds to wash over you and take you to that place. Thank you, Leopard. Thank you, Beauty. <laughs> Thank you, Animal Wisdom. Thank you, Kara. 
my arm got tired, so I had to put the card down. <laughs> That's why we're putting up a picture. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. so unexpected. It was so not what I expected. Right? Can I, to can I just say, like, yeah, you know, you're talking about the adrenals and um, personal power, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is total third chakra stuff. Oh, I mean, that's totally what's going to happen. And um, I, just, I felt like my whole sixth chakra, so for people who don't know, sixth chakra, just this expansion in every direction and like heat. And it was just like, Whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel that distance. But it was like the distance was early, and then it was like this expansion within my head, and I even still feel like my energy field is way mm. expanded here. And and it like I felt like it tuned me into the senses of the leopard in the jungle at night. Oh wow! Like that that heightened awareness, you know. Yeah. And, the, the sight and the sounds and the smells, which would all be right mm -hmm. here. And, mm -hmm. and just like kind of also, you know, probably intuitively just reach I just got that word. Person. I was like intuitive. Yeah. Because they, they, they go on instinct, right? They've got to. I mean, there's so much, I think, um, so much knowledge and such a wisdom base. So I think that there's a, most animals also have a, you know, a knowledge base of their environment and that, but also, you know, just like, that's also part of the sixth chakra. Yeah. Right. Like all of that, your, your brains and your intuition and your senses, so much of our senses are right here too. So, um, mm -hmm. and it just, it felt so wonderful. <laughs> that's really cool. Wow. Well, and I could feel, you know, when I'm playing, I get in, you know, insights and feelings and uh, questions, you know, like what am, where are we going next with this? How long are we staying on this? You know, like those kinds of questions and they're always answered, even if I'm not asking them, that it just goes to the next thing. Um, I, I don't plan this out. There's no way to plan it out. It's so wonderful that way. So um, we went from the two that are the most dissonant to the two that are the most consonant, which is the opposite of dissonant, um, and, and, and ended with the B bowl, which is the crown chakra. So, you know, we sort of had like a whole chakra alignment thing happen here. Um, beautiful experience and to and for me i get into the energy of whatever it is that i'm channeling sounds for um it calls me deeper and deeper into whatever that is and to be in the energy of the leopard is phenomenal so for those of you that you know maybe you just first time you've seen this uh, video of ours but uh kara is a an animal intuitive and when she mentioned that she had conversations with these animals she did these live uh, for people and it, I was on some of those calls and they are phenomenal she's tuned into this animal from a distance and gets these messages from the questions she asks of these animals and so this card deck is not just like oh let's do angels you know like <laughs> let's fix <do> animals <laughs> it's it's informed from her intuitive interactions with these animals. And so for me to just tune into that, the energy of what you shared with us with that card brought me into that experience. And, and not just as that animal, but also what is that for me? You know, where am I, where am I so independent that I don't reach out for other people? And, and where can I be more flexible? Where can I be more interdependent? All those words just so, um, you know, make this experience so much more, um, well, you used the word rich in our last video, which is 
it, it, so much more dimensionality. Yeah. So much more interest, beauty. Um, Complexity, yes. Yeah. And refinement, you know, more specific understanding of yes. all these different, you know, multifaceted ways to be right. a spiritual being having whichever kind of experience we chose this time. Right? And I, I, I am not an intuit. I mean, I suppose I can learn how to be an animal intuitive. I think you teach people how to do that, yeah, right? Of course. Um, and, you know, sometimes I can tune into my cat or my dog or whatever. Um, but but I, I don't think I ever really thought that you could tune into any animal, wild animal or pet, and and bring and ask them questions like that, like you did, to, that bring more into our human experience. It can make us better people because we can connect with the animals in that way. It, it's it's almost paradoxical that we understand our humanity better by understanding the experience of an animal. Yes, but it's true. Yeah, and you've really shown us, I mean, my eyes are open, like literally, I'm like, wow. <laughs> and I've experienced your work before. And, and then to come together with, with the sound and the energy and just um, really sitting with that, you know, just spending some time <laughs> in the life of, you know, the energy, it's not even in the life, like we talked about. It's oh, more in the jungle, you know, but yeah, the essence and, and the the feeling of it and and how that informs us as human beings. Yeah. So hopefully everybody <sighs> watching the video had an experience, right? Like not necessarily yeah. your experience or my experience, but hopefully they had an experience and we would love to hear what your experience is. Please so share with Leave us. a note in the comments. We're, I mean, it's just fascinating how many different ways we can experience this energy. Because what I experienced was really different from what Phoebe experienced. But, um, yeah. you know, tell us more about how this is for you. We'd love to hear about it in the comments. Yeah. And you can get more information about either, well, both of us, um, down in the description. Just click that little upside down triangle. If you haven't figured see more, out. see more. And there, you know, links to where you can find out more about us. And um, we, we've got more for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> Come on back. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. If you haven't, <laughs> click the subscribe button on whichever channel you're watching this on. Do that so that you can get notifications. You can always adjust those notifications, just FYI, so you don't get bombarded by a bunch of emails. You can set it like, I just only want it when they send out a new, you know, put up a new video or. You know, you you get to set that, okay? So go ahead and and. But don't be out. afraid to subscribe. Yeah, and you can unsubscribe if you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> just, just just undo it later. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, do, do stay tuned, and we'll see you some more. Okay, bye.